switch from IPv4 to IPv6 isn't too different from another major transition in protocol that happened in the early 1980s. 1822 protocol was a method by which host computers used to connect to ARPANET routers, sending messages to an interface message processor, or IMP, to connect these packet switching nodes. Eventually, 1822 protocol proved it couldn't handle multiple connections with different applications in host computers, so Network Control Program, or NCP, was developed. NCP provided what amounted to the middle layers of the protocol stack, giving connections and control between processes running on various ARPANET host computers. Later, Robert Kahn, Vint Cerf, and others developed a more powerful and flexible protocol, TCP-IP. But the migration from NCP to TCP-IP and IPv4 didn't happen overnight. RFC 801 describes this very familiar sounding transition. Any new host connected to the ARPANET should only implement IPTCP, because all hosts cannot be converted to TCP simultaneously, and some will implement only IPTCP, it will be necessary to provide temporarily for communication between NCP-only hosts and TCP-only hosts. Most hosts that are now NCP-only will implement IPTCP in addition to their NCP and become dual protocol hosts. As expected, there was a lot of the same foot dragging that we see with the IPv6 transition. When checking the number of hosts that supported TCP IP, Vince Cerf and Dan Lynch noticed that growth had slowed down. At Interop Las Vegas last week, Lynch related what happened next. So, for a day, Vint had NCP disabled. People screamed about it, but guess what? Our stats went up again for hosts migrated to TCP IP for a few months and then stopped. This time, Vint turned off NCP for two days. A few months later, they made the cutover from the old protocol suite to the new TCP IP with only two hosts not being ready for the big day. Clearly it's not going to work for us to just turn off IPv4. Events like World IPv6 Day are, for now, a more effective approach. Smaller World IPv6-like events have already taken place, with some major providers offering content over dual stack for an hour or so at a time, and these trials have been successful. It is quite probable that a small group of people will continue to scream about the pain of v6 migration, but with a little prodding, this newest story of protocol transition will also have a happy ending.